All right, everybody, this is Jet Wilson, and this is Blast TV. You're probably wondering who's behind me, okay? I have with you tonight, for the very first time on Blast TV, I have head noise. Let's hear it, guys. Head noise. Now, I'm sure you already know who Head Noise is. I don't have to do much of an introduction, but I'll tell you something. Head Noise has been around since the Stone Age, man. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Let me, let me, come on, scoot up here. Let me get, squeeze in with Head Noise. I want to be a part of this thing here. Okay, so, Head Noise has actually been around since about... I'll put my flyer in my pocket. About 94, okay? And I remember, man, seeing them back then and just hanging out with them for a little bit. They're a great band, and, and the media loves Head Noise. But, um, well, I'm doing all the talking, so let me go and uh, have the band introduce themselves. What's your name, and what do you do in the band? Uh, Harvey Rebellion. I play guitar. And what about you? Robert, and I play the clarinet. And what else do you play in the band? Oh, uh, the bass, guitar. Okay. Robert plays the bass, and, and what's your name, Edie? Edie, <laughs> and I sing. <laughs> and what do, you do, what do you do in the band? I said I sing. <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. I, my ears have been blasted by when I just saw you guys play. By the way, they just played Cafe Nell. I can't turn the camera right now. We're down kind of like in the back area. Cafe Nell, they got a little lounge here. It's kind of smoky, but other than that, it's great. And sir, what do you do in the band, and what's your name? My name is Gilbert. I play drums and eat tacos. Yeah, Gilbert eats tacos. <laughs> he must be eating something else because I tell you, man, he jams on the drums. They were hard, loud, and on time. So, That's a fact. yeah. So, That's a fact. tell me something. So we said you said you've been around since 1994. How many uh, how many records have you guys put out? I don't know. Roughly, this is blast. No, we sent some live stuff too. I don't know, maybe seven. I don't know. They put a. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so I got a little bit of a cold, but I'm kind of getting over that. My doctor blasted it with antibiotics. You know how it is. This, we're keeping it real on Blast TV. So tell me a little bit about your band and what you guys stand for, what you guys are up to. Uh, well, we're a punk rock band, and we stand for Jesus. All right, you know what? Here on Blast TV, we're not going to be politically correct. We're going to be bold about what we do, what we believe in. And um, so tell me... Um, Tell me some more about what the story is about your band. What you guys are all about, and uh, well, you know, we just went to a lot of shows and saw a lot of bands that were good, but they kind of didn't really, I don't know, stand for anything or say anything about anything. And it was, you know, it was cool seeing them, but um, we just kind of said, well, maybe we could um, play music and and um, say something about what's really going on in our lives and you know where we're at with our faith and and uh, share what's what's happening with us and uh, play the music that you know has been in us since we were kids so um, that's what we've been doing you know just uh, sharing sharing our faith and playing punk music and and what kind of shows do you guys do do you guys do like you say you're a Christian band you do Christian shows secular shows both what kind of what, what kind of shows do you guys do any and everything really well, you know what, I, I, I know that like people say you're a Christian man, and that's fine, but to me, it's kind of like saying Christian popsicle a little bit. I mean, we're, we're Christians, and um, we, we make no bones about the fact that we you know that we love the Lord, but, um, you know, really it's, I don't know if you, if you understand what I'm saying. I, I, it, we're, we're punks. Well, we're Christians, and uh, we love the Lord, and, and we want to play music, but we don't want to sort of get into that weirdness that a lot of uh, kind of churchy kind of weirdness. You know, we don't want to get into a lot of, all that weirdness. So are you, are you saying you keep it real to where you're at? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're, try, we're trying to as much as we can because we want to be able to be a part of what's, what's happening around us and not... Um, alienate ourselves from everybody you know you mean put yourself in a box well yeah I mean when you put a lot of labels on things you know you, you can do that and and uh, we don't really want to do that I mean we these are our friends we we love our friends and we want to be a part of what's going on we want to be a part of the local scene um, and the fact that that we're believers and that we love Christ uh, doesn't seem to make a difference if you play good music 
Um, people actually don't really care what you believe. Yeah. If you play crappy music, then it just, yeah, I, I found it just out means that, you know, whatever you're playing, <laughs> you know, whatever you're talking about is probably you know, bad, you too. Know, uh, I found out that the acceptance, you know, like, especially people like Tony Voltage, you know, he, he, he books Christian and non-Christian bands and, and, you know, so, and he doesn't go under the label of a Christian uh, a promoter, you know? So, Harvey, kind of elaborate on that. I think we were talking either yesterday or today kind of about that, you know, about, about, um, well, go ahead and elaborate. You know what I'm talking about? Kind of. <laughs> well, kind of like, you know, with, with, with the, the whole music scene and keeping it real and, and not kind of uh, corner yourself into just fa doing what people do and they don't know why they're doing it. You know, like the Christianese thing or kind of elaborate on your heart about just what you're doing, what you're doing with your music. Uh, well, I kind of think that uh, really uh, when uh, we we go out and play, it's kind of breaking the misconception of what a Christian is that maybe uh, too conservative, maybe in music, but really playing from the heart, whatever is uh, born from, you know, the music that comes out, it could be really hard, it could be different, you know, but not really put it in a in a like conservative box but not only that but if you go out into any club or with any promoter it's really about making relationships and building that bridge across I think that's the most important thing what about like what Jesus did if Jesus was here today what would he be doing uh, he would probably be inside watching the band <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know um, yeah, I it's not, hey, it's not my turn to be talking, but I, I, I hear you guys and I love what you guys stand for and how you're doing it. You know, just being out there with n regular people, regular, you know, not being uh, uh, locked into a building with, with all Christians, but you're out there. And the, Jesus went out to those who are lost and, and he loved everybody, right? Right? So, so how long have you been in the band? Jeez, uh, eight months now, six months, something like that. Eight months, six months. Wow, that's great. And uh, what else? What else you want to say? He's by far probably the most talented person in the band besides Edie. So, hey, talent comes in many forms. <laughs> Ta talent it diminishes. I know. If you go this way. If, it, if this was a scale, <laughs> it'd be heavy over there. Yeah. <laughs> Talent comes in many forms. So, anything you guys want to add? Say what you know. You guys got a website. What? Oh, by the way, by the way, you guys had a little bit of. Uh, um, you guys slowed down for a little bit or stopped playing for a while, right? Yeah. Tell tell us yeah. briefly. Uh, who wants to talk? Who's the talker here? Uh, well, tell us a little bit about that. You got a break and you came back together. What? What made you come back together? What made you stop? We we moved. Uh, Robert and I moved to Chicago for about thirteen years. And wait a minute, wait a minute. You moved to Chicago. Yeah. Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> and did you get any pizza in Chicago? <laughs> pizza. Oh my gosh. There's a place, a couple places there. But anyhow, go ahead. Yeah, we moved there uh, to serve in a ministry and ended up playing still. Um, our drum, our guitarist and gu and drummer came with us. So we ended up still playing and performing on the in the Midwest and East Coast for a long time. And then um, I think it was around 2007 we. What was that with Sid, the other guitar player? Sid, and there was a few others in intermingled in there. Um, and uh, yeah, he went to October Bird of Death, right? Yeah, yep, yep, yeah. Good guy, good guy too. Yeah. Huh? There was him, Brian Gray. Um, there's a there's a few. We've had a bunch of. We've had a lot of guitar players and drummers and and folks, and they're all amazing. I, you know what? I, I think I was thinking about was that. The, the difference, I think, with with this band particularly is that um, we're we're ministry, so it doesn't really end unless it's time to end. Because if it's no longer relevant, people don't want to hear anymore. Uh, you know, you probably shouldn't be playing. You know what I mean? There's no use going out there and just like you know flogging a dead horse. Um, but people still want to hear us, and you know it's cool. So we're going to keep playing. Yeah. When know, it changes, yeah. we'll do something different. So what I guess what I want to say about that is it's not like oh we break up, we start, we break, we start. It if someone says hey you know we want to hear you guys, we want to play. There's, there's nothing. There's nothing weird about that. That's fine for us, and it'll probably keep going as long as. Well, obviously, obviously, you know, people love you love your music. Adolescence, you know, with like the reunion shows, the reunion shows. We're not like that. I mean, we're ministry. Well, let so. me say, let me say something. Here on Blast TV, one of the reasons why we have Blast TV here is because 
we're keeping it live with relevant bands that are playing now. You know, you won't have me interview a band that's not really playing anymore. I mean, or that's in their grave. I can't dig up the bones and, and have them interview. But uh, no, here on Blast TV, we're interviewing bands that are doing it right now. And these guys, let me tell you, they're doing it right now. They're they're booked up. You guys are playing tomorrow night, right? Where are you playing tomorrow night? Uh, Angel City. Angel City. Wait, where's that at? Right. In uh, Bellflower. Bellflower. Okay. So, so there you go. You know, you got a secular club. You got a Christian club. You got, you know, you got head noise. And uh, anything you guys want to add to that? Uh, thanks for doing this, man. I mean, I'm, I'm glad you're doing it. It's cool. Um, thanks for having us on. And um, we're going to keep doing it as long as people want to hear us. And as long as God allows us to keep doing it. So. And you got a website? Um well, you know, we got all like the social media stuff like Facebook and, and Yeah, you know, with Google and all that YouTube, just 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 plug their name in, you know, head noise and they'll populate, man. And so after this uh, interview, you should see one of their live videos of what we saw earlier today. He, you got it here for the first time, Head Noise on Blast TV. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it's completely dislocated, but we're going to play. So... 